watching a brand new episode of Learn with Tridip. In this episode, I am going to show you a magic. So, abracadabra. In this episode, I am going to show you how easily you can colorize black and white images to amazing colorful art and by just one click. I will be using our very old friend tried and tested Adobe Photoshop and you will see the latest technique how they are using artificial intelligence to detect a particular black and white image and coloring it in just one click. So before we deep dive kindly like share and comment on this video and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all our upcoming notifications. So let's get started. So this is the home screen of our best friend Adobe Photoshop. I've been using this thing for last 20, 25 years and it has never failed me. And the best thing is that I'm really amazed that how Adobe Photoshop's creative team is constantly enhancing, making these things better day in and day out for the photographers and creative people around the globe. Hats off to you guys. In this particular video, I have already selected some very nice black and white photographs from none other than pixels.com. The link of the website from where I have taken all these images will be there in the description section. So hats off again to the wonderful people of pixels.com, Maria, Olga, Shaheen, Alexander. They have done amazing work in giving their fantastic photographs absolutely free of cost in pixels, which we can use for our commercial or as well as for our amateurish work. But please read the copyright lines very clearly, which is there just below the images from where you download. This is to be extra careful so that you should not run into copyright infringement problem. I will take one one image from this lot and I will show you just by one click how nicely Adobe is able to understand the quality of the image through their artificial intelligence engine and how they are learning each and every pixel of that particular image and colorizing it. So let's get started. Let's see how this can be done. The first image that I will pick up is this Audrey Hepburn lookalike image, which is very nicely photographed by Pixabay. So I don't exactly know the person's name who has taken the photograph. It is noted as Pixabay. So this is the image which has perfect lighting, perfect shadow, depth, everything is, and as well as the saturation of the colors, the grays and the blacks are absolutely fantastic. So as I always say, black and white photographs are much, much ahead of colors photograph, which I, I still maintain that particular thing. Maybe I am old school, but that's the way I see a photograph. In this particular photograph, we will see that how by only one click, we can make this photograph colored. So let's directly head to the process. So in the filter, you have these neural filters, which has come very new in Adobe Photoshop CC. By the way, we use Adobe CC licensed copy, no piracy over here again. So neural filters, as you click over here, the neural filter panel comes over here. So you skip all these things. You need not to, we need not to bother about all these things, which I might cover in another video. There's another video which I have already shown how Photoshop is enhancing the entire game of photography business. So you can see that video. Otherwise, I will again cover some other aspects of these things in my upcoming video. I will head directly to the colorize section, which is the last option. 
and click on this on just see in seconds in seconds not in minutes also in seconds this particular image has been colored and how they have colored it they have detected that there is a background given a gradient field from blue to white thinking that this might be an outdoor shot they have taken the skin they have segregated the lips they have segregated the jewelries over here if i zoom in you'll see they have given different colors to different section of the jewelry as well the diamonds are kept as white the gold and the pink color of the gold has also been colored very nicely the diamonds are also separated very nicely they have segregated the dress separately and the skin in a fantastic way now let's, let's see over here it's a new layer whenever you click okay it will directly open a new layer so as i was telling it is non destructive so here it is non destructive so they have not touched the main image they have created a separate image just above it let's head back to a new image let us see a complicated image over here where there are many things there is a hat there is a skin tone there is very rough hair we don't know from these things maybe it's a blonde hair there is a dress and there is some level of skin also showing and there is a complicated background image as well so let's see we go to filter neural filter and we hit colorize seconds it has detected there is a hat it has given it a military sort of or a explorer sort of color of the hat it has given a blonde hair to this lady it has segregated the lips and lips color has been given a pale red color the skin is detected and as well as the dress is detected amazing isn't it and every time you can saturate or desaturate the color based on what you exactly expect if you are really comfortable with these things you can change the color values as per your liking but for the time being as you are doing it for the first time i would tell you to leave it as it is and take what adobe detects until and unless it is absolutely a wrong detection so as usual it has taken a completely new layer i will take a little bit of complicated image now so this is under the sea image there is a lady who is floating there is sunlights god rays coming inside there are bubbles let's see how adobe detects this photo and how they change it head to neural filters click on colorize let's see let's say abracadabra right before this magic and see what happens wow it has detected from where the lights had come in it has detected the main highlight region of the light it has detected the different shades of blue from lighter to darker to black it has also detected the floor of the sea it has also detected the human body floating over here and see an amazing spectacular correction color corrections that they have done right over here and which is again non destructive if you want to reduce noise you can do it as per your wish it detects and it reduces noise and if you are clicking over here it will retain the original image is color which is black and white okay another thing i want to show you there are different profiles over here 
So you can check from different profile over retro red. See how this thing changes. Retro purple and yellow. So there are a lot of things that you can change from here, but we don't require, absolutely we don't require because Photoshop has done a fantastic work. It has detected the image very nicely and it has colored it, okay? Now let us take up another very difficult image. Why I'm saying it is very difficult? Let us see that amount of things that it has in this particular image. It has a background. Maybe it is a green color, greenish bluish shade. There are grasses over here, which is also can be, I really don't know. It can be yellowish color, it can be greenish color. She's holding wine on her hand. So that can be a different color. Her body color is different. It can, it should be different from the dress color. There is some ruffled hair, here and there that can be different color altogether. Also, she is wearing very minute um, jewelries that can also have different color. Also, there are window panes that we can see, the door of the windows and all these things. So this can have their separate color. So there are so many possibilities of color in this particular image. Let us see how Photoshop detects these colors and whether they're able to change the thing in a proper way. One click, abracadabra. Wow, isn't it magic? Just see the detail. Over here, it has given a bluish greenish shade of the trees. The grasses over here are green in color. The windows has a different colors. The body, even the hair of the body, even the small hair, that has been also detected. The wine is detected in a different color. The jewelries are different. The body color has been given separately and the blonde hair has also been given a separate color. Isn't this amazing? I can also saturate, desaturate these colors based on my whims and fancy and still the awesomeness of the image holds good. The last image I will take up is a landscape image. Let's see how we can colorize this image, how we can detect this image and we can uh, see how best this color can be changed. I will go to filter, go to neural filter again and put it on abracadabra. Wow, isn't this amazing? Let's see how it has totally detected the color of the light, the color of the bricks and stones over here. And this is sublime. This is, this is amazing the way it has detected the thing. The best part is that using a combination of depth blur, you can use this thing. You can take this thing in a different way altogether. You can also change the color a little bit based on how you want it to be, whether it's a little bit of bluish things you want to seep in in the thing or you want to take it to the yellowish tinge. But otherwise, nicely detected color and I'm super happy with the output. So what you guys think about this particular tool, the new magic that has uh, come up in Photoshop? Let me know by writing comments in this particular video. So that's all folks. To my photographer friends, amateurs or professionals, I think you can use this particular option in Photoshop to colorize your black and white image. And understand this thing very carefully. This is an artificial intelligence driven photo manipulation technique. Also remember that it is non-destructive which is they always create a new layer, which I have shown in the video. So you are not actually 
destroying your main image or base image but at the same time you are getting fantastic result from your black and white image also a word of caution since it is entirely artificial intelligence driven process many a times you might not get a proper replicated color so you have to check those areas and see if a particular photograph is ai responsive or not if it is not then you have to do your tried and tested manual process i am not saying that you can do away with the manual process you can combine the artificial intelligence part and the manual process in a one seamless process hope you have liked this particular video if you have liked this video kindly like share and comment this video and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all our upcoming notifications goodbye and god bless